Dengue fever is a disease that's caused by the dengue virus, and spread by mosquitoes. It causes symptoms similar to the flu, with some key differences. The characteristic sign that someone has been infected by dengue, is a rash that looks very similar to measles. Another classic sign, is that if hand pressure is applied to the skin, an imprint will be seen for a couple of seconds after it's taken away. The technical term for this, is blanching of the skin with pressure. There are some other, less specific symptoms, that dengue fever causes including a high fever, headaches, vomiting, and intense muscle and joint pains. In fact, the joint pain is so pronounced with dengue, that its alternative name is breakbone fever. Recovery from dengue, generally takes two to seven days, and it's associated with a full-body red rash, that has small pale areas. This characteristic appearance is described as, white islands in a sea of red. But not everyone has a simple recovery from dengue. In a small proportion of cases, the disease can get worse, rather than better three to six days after they first get sick. This is called severe dengue, or dengue hemorrhagic fever. The signs of severe dengue are bleeding gums, worsening abdominal pain, uncontrollable vomiting, or liver enlargement. But most importantly, the person becomes more ill, rather than better, three to six days after the rash first develops. Severe dengue is notable because in roughly 5% of cases, it can lead to dengue shock syndrome. Dengue shock causes a drop in the levels of blood platelets, which normally help stop bleeding. The bleeding can be severe, and life-threatening, if it causes the blood pressure to drop, and critical body systems to fail. Dengue shock also requires immediate attention from medical professionals and hospitalization. Dengue is a flaviviridae virus, with five types. They are in the same family as other well-known viruses that cause tropical diseases, such as yellow fever, West Nile, and Zika virus. The dengue virus is spread by several species of female mosquitoes, of the Aedes type. The fact that mosquitoes are the vector for the virus, means that the disease is much more common in warmer climates, and below an elevation of 1,000 meters or 3,000 feet. It also means that, the disease is more likely to be spread in the early morning and evening hours when mosquitoes are more active. However all of this could change with global warming. Recent research indicates that there could be a large jump in the number of dengue cases, as mosquito populations expand to more northern climates. Since dengue fever can be caused by five different variations of the virus, immunity is complex. Infection with one type, usually gives lifelong immunity to that type. However, infection with one type of the virus, provides only short-term immunity to the others, and subsequent infections, with a different type of the virus, increases the risk of severe complications. A number of tests are available to confirm the diagnosis, including detecting antibodies to the virus, or its RNA. A vaccine for dengue fever has been approved, and is commercially available in a number of countries. However it is only recommended in those who have been previously infected. Other methods of prevention, include either removing or covering standing water to reduce the mosquito habitat. And using mosquito nets, especially when sleeping, to limit the risk of bites. Treatment of mild or moderate dengue is supportive, and includes giving fluid either by mouth, or through an intravenous line. For fever reduction and pain relief, paracetamol or acetaminophen is recommended instead of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs like ibuprofen and aspirin, to minimize the risk of bleeding. Each year about half a million people require hospital admission for dengue-related illnesses and blood transfusion. Dengue has become a global problem since the Second World War, and is common in more than 110 countries, mainly in Asia, and South America. Each year between 50 and 528 million people are infected, and between 10 and 20,000 die from it. The earliest descriptions of an outbreak date from the year 1779. Its viral cause and spread, were understood by the early 20th century. Dengue fever is classified as a neglected tropical disease. Apart from eliminating the mosquitoes, work is ongoing for medication targeted directly at the virus. <laughs> 